Uh, for example, if um, we look at this time card, um, there is an in punch for 6.29 p.m. There is no out punch. It is listed as missing. And then there is an in punch for um, 6.30. When there's an in punch at 6.29 and an in punch at 6.30, um, it is likely that it was just a double punch. Um, in this case, we can just highlight and delete the punch that's not necessary. And once we save it, that time card should realign. And so now there's no longer a missed punch on this day that has corrected that. Um, so if that happens with your employees, you can make those corrections. Um, obviously, if it doesn't make sense to you, just want to reach out to the employee and make sure that what you're correcting is accurate. Um, Any time that you make an adjustment to time, um, so if the employee has emailed you and said, um, I punched in at 629 because I forgot to punch in at 615 when I got here. If you're going to make an adjustment to that time, you can type right over that, save it, and that will update that punch. You'll also want to right click on that punch and go down to supervisor note. And then when you click on that, you can just update this and you want to say adjust, uh, adjusted in punch based on email. Um, just so that we have um, an audit trail of why you've made those adjustments to that punch, click continue and it will save that note on that time card. Um, you also want to really watch once you have verified everything on the time card and you're about to um, submit the approval, you want to make sure that you look in this column of hours and let, check for any um, punches that may be over a 12 hour punch. Oftentimes when we adjust punches, uh, we'll accidentally put a.m. or p.m. when it should be the, the opposite, and that will create a punch that's over 12 hours in duration. If that happens, um, you see a day that's over 12 hours, just check and make sure that it is accurate. If it's not accurate and it was just a mistake, you can correct it at this time before you um, click approve. Once you've gone through the entire time card and you're sure that everything has been corrected, um, all of your missed punches have been fixed, all of the time is accurate, then you're just going to go through and you're going to either approve each day that has time on it. If you're approving the entire time card, again, you can just hit the box at the top. That will put a check mark under every um, punch and every um, day that has time on it. And then you go to the right, click save, and that will save that approval. When you go back to your time card approvals after you've gone through everyone's time card, you should see all of the employees that you have approved will now have a checkbox in the left column. This is just a double check to make sure that you didn't miss anyone. If you have any staff that's box is not checked, you'll just want to go back to their time card via the link for their name. Go back through that time clock and make sure that you approve any time that has been missed.